Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to look at uh, how to find the roots of a fourth degree polynomial, complex polynomial. Um, in this case, one of the roots is going to be given. Um, when that happens, uh, typically it's because all the roots are complex um, and so it wouldn't be possible to find n of them using the rational root theorem because the rational root theorem is for um, it works for real uh, roots so like we did uh, in uh, the part 5 video so if none of them is real then typically they'll give you one of the roots and then you have got to find the other three the other thing we are going to notice with this example, for instance, in fact, for both examples, is that all the coefficients of this polynomial um, are real. So this is uh, the other example. So, of course, uh, for this case, uh, there is a theorem um, that says that if all the coefficients are real, uh, then the roots of the polynomial have got to be either real or if they are not real they're going to occur in complex conjugate pairs so what this theorem is saying is that um, if we plot the roots on the Agand diagram for a polynomial uh, where all the coefficients are real then the roots are either going to be along the real axes in which case they are real or if they are complex they are going to be symmetrically placed um you know symmetric to the horizontal axis so that means if there is a complex root here then vertically uh, opposite uh, to the real plane um directly there then that's going to be another root so if uh, this is uh, z1 a root um, then z1 bar is also going to be a root so that's what uh, this uh, theorem is saying so that when you plot the um, roots on the complex uh, or the Akan diagram for a polynomial like this one then they are going to form a pattern that is symmetric about the horizontal axis all right, so using the theorem, uh, for number one, given that 1 plus 2i is a root, that is uh, implying that uh, 1 minus 2i is also a root. So if 1 plus 2i uh, is a, a root, then the implication is that 1 minus 2i is also a root okay now from the roots we can find the factors of this polynomial so from this one for instance if we bring everything to the same side as z then we're going to have z minus 1 minus 2i and so that is going to be a factor of our polynomial but we can do the same thing with the complex conjugate root in that case we're going to get z minus 1 plus 2i and then um, so it is such that since these two uh, factors of our polynomial then the product of the two of them since the product is a quadratic and our polynomial is of degree 4 so since the product is of degree less than our polynomial then the product is also going to be a factor of the polynomial so what we're going to do now is we're just going to work out uh, this product and then uh, that is also going to be a polynomial and then we'll use that so if we multiply through uh, first by the z so z times z is going to be z squared z times minus one 
going to be minus z and then z times 2i is going to be plus 2i z then next we multiply by negative 1 now negative 1 times z it's going to be negative z we're going to write it under this one so uh, like terms we're just going to write them so that they are vertically aligned um, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 we don't have something like that there so we're going to write it there and then negative 1 times 2i it's going to be minus 2i again we don't have a purely uh, complex number then uh, the last term is negative 2i negative 2i times z is going to be negative 2i z so we're going to write that one under 2i z they are like terms negative 2i times negative 1 is going to be 2i plus 2i so we'll write it there negative 2i times 2i is going to be minus 4i squared there's no i squared so we write it there and then after that we just add vertically so the z squared terms is only one the z terms there is two of them the i z terms they cancel out uh, the real number there is only one plus one there the purely imaginary numbers they cancel out and then we have got negative 4i squared but negative 4i squared is uh, the same as negative 4 times negative 1 so this is z squared sorry this is negative 2z because there's two of them here so minus 2z plus 1 and that's going to be plus 4 so z squared plus 2z plus 5 must also be a factor so this is going to be a factor of our polynomial what it means is that we can divide this polynomial by the given factor and the remainder should be zero okay so let's do that and then that's going to enable us to find the other factor so of course since this uh, factor is quadratic uh, sorry another there again this is minus two z since this factor is quadratic we cannot use synthetic division we must use long division so that's exactly what we do uh, polynomial is z to the power of four minus z cubed uh, plus three uh, z squared it's actually four z squared four z squared plus three z plus five so we divide via long division so here z squared is going to go into z to the power of four z squared times and then if we take this and multiply out here we're going to get z to the power of four minus two z cubed plus five z squared then if we subtract this is going to give us z cubed this is going to give us minus z squared we bring down 3z then dividing z squared into z cubed is going to give us plus z then multiplying z into the divisor is going to give us z uh, cubed minus 2z squared plus 5z we subtract and give us z squared minus 2z we bring down 5 okay then uh, z squared divided by z squared is going to give us 1 
multiply 1 into the divisor that's going to give us z squared minus 2z plus 5 and so the remainder is 0 as expected so what it means is that um, our equation we can write it as a, a, a product of the two factors the first one is uh, z squared minus 2z plus 5 and the other one that we just found is this one of course um, from uh, this root or this factor we have got uh, the two factors uh, that we've already used one plus i one minus i um, so that's this one so to find the other two roots we just have to solve this quadratic here uh, which we can do using the quadratic formula so it's going to be minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so this is going to be negative 1 plus or minus square root negative 3 over 2 but uh, square root negative 3 we can write as square root 3 times square root negative 1 so this is the same as negative 1 plus i root 3 all over 2. So those are the uh, last two roots. So in summary, uh, our roots for this equation are going to be minus 1 plus or minus uh, root 3 over 2, which are of course are complex conjugates. And then the other two roots, which we found earlier, 1 plus 2i is given, and then the other one is 1 minus 2i. And then, as you can see, if we plot this uh, on the Akand diagram, they are indeed going to be symmetrically placed, symmetric about the um, horizontal axis. Because, uh, so... Um, 1 plus 2i going to be somewhere there. 1 minus 2i is somewhere here. Then uh, minus 1 plus root 3 over 2. The, those ones are going to be... Um, so that's negative half. So those ones are going to be something like that. But uh, the main thing is that uh, they are going to be... So for this one, this is 1, uh, this is 2, and then for this one, this is negative uh, half, and this is root 3 on 2. All right, so that's uh, how we find the three other roots of a fourth degree polynomial when one of the roots is given and as you can see all the roots were complex this moment we're going to give you a, um, a chance to have a go at number two just want to pause the video and then have a go uh, and then when you continue the video you will find our solution all right um, we're now going to scroll down to our solution for number two um, we would like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this video. We do hope that uh, the material is helpful to you. Uh, please, of course, do uh, subscribe to our channel to support the channel. And uh, if you have got any questions, uh, just post them in the comment section. The video is helpful, of course, again, as well, we would be um, encouraged to hear from you um, and uh, to make more stuff. So just uh, like the video and um, share accordingly. All right, so in number two, uh, we're given that uh, two minus i is a root, and since all the coefficients of a polynomial are real, it means the complex conjugate two plus i is also a root. And so z minus two plus i, which you get by taking all terms to the left-hand side. So that's a factor, and that is gonna be a factor multiplying these gives us z squared minus 4z plus 5. So this should also be a factor because our polynomial is of degree 4. This is of degree 3. 
And so if we divide our polynomial by z squared minus 4z plus 5, using long division, we find that the, the quotient is z squared plus 2z plus 2. So that means z squared plus 2z plus 2 is also a factor of the polynomial. So solving this equal to 0 using the quadratic gives minus 1 plus or minus i. So these are the other two roots. Of course, so, so in total we've got 2 plus or minus i, then minus 1 plus or minus i. And uh, that is uh, 4 of them as we should have for a polynomial of degree 4. Thank you.